In this video I'm going to talk about this equation which is in topic 4 and what it means and how we use it. Delta lambda over lambda equals V over C. Now we use this equation to calculate V. Um, as the universe is expanding then all galaxies are moving away from each other as the universe expands apart from the ones in our local group that means all galaxies are moving away from each other so if that's the earth and there's a, a distant galaxy then that galaxy is moving away from us with a velocity v which we call its recession velocity and this equation enables us to calculate v now to calculate v we need to know a few things we need to know uh, the speed of light. Well, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Uh, in this equation, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it 300 million meters per second, which is the same thing. Okay, and you'll see that in this equation, it's just a little bit more convenient. So, we know what V is, we know what C is. Now, lambda is wavelength. Uh, if this is a wave, any kind of a wave, it might be light or microwaves or radio waves or whatever, then if that's a wave, then this distance from there to there is its wavelength. And we use the Greek symbol lambda to denote wavelength. Now, as this galaxy is moving away from us very fast, and there's some light from the galaxy, which comes from the galaxy towards Earth, then this light has a particular wavelength. Because the galaxy is moving away from us, however, what happens is that this wavelength gets stretched a bit. And so it's a little bit bigger than what it was when it started, or rather a little bit bigger than it would be if the galaxy weren't moving. I can explain that a little bit more. If the galaxy were just stood still, then the wavelength of the light, let's say, would be lambda. As the galaxy is moving away from us very fast, then the wavelength of the light is a bit bigger. And let's call it lambda dash. The wavelength is a little bit bigger because the light has been stretched. It's called the Doppler effect. The light has been stretched because the galaxy is moving away from us. Now, the difference between them, the change in the wavelength, we will say is delta lambda. Delta, we used to say the change in something. So the change in wavelength is delta lambda. That's the big wavelength minus the original wavelength. And in this equation here, there's delta lambda there. This lambda here is the original wavelength. Uh, let's do an example. So here's an example. Now, when hydrogen gets excited, it gives off a wavelength, uh, which is um, 656 nanometers. Nano is times 10 to the minus 9 meters. It's uh, a thousandth of a millimeter is a nanometer. It's very, very small. Don't worry about that. Now, let's say we observe a galaxy and we recognize this hydrogen alpha line. However, the hydrogen alpha um, wavelength is a little bit bigger than it should be. Let's say that it's 662 nanometers. Why is it bigger? Because the galaxy is moving away from us. It's been redshifted. So the difference between them is delta lambda. And so delta lambda is that minus that, which is 6 nanometers. So how do we calculate V then? Well, if we start putting things in the equation now, Delta lambda is 6 
Lambda is 656, the original. Notice I'm not bothering with nanometers now because it's on there and there it cancels so I don't have to. Equals V over 300 million. I don't know why I put times there. 300 million. So V, if we get that and put it up there, V is 6 over 656 times 300 million equals 2.74 million meters per second. If we get uh, an equation like this in the exam, um, we've seen the equation, if you're not told which one to use, um, sure you're working out, there's your answer, don't forget the units, uh, probably be three marks for it, tick tick tick.